We are going to discuss the Cauchy Convergence Criteria, what we call in real analysis the Cauchy Convergence Criteria. If a sequence of real numbers is convergent, then what do I mean by the Cauchy Convergence Criteria, which states that informally, if you have a sequence of real numbers, hai, wo Cauchy sequence, hai, then that will be convergent. I am specifically saying the sequence of real numbers, and this result is true for the sequences of real number system okay real numbers ka sequence hai. sequence waise aapka in mathematics mein it's not necessary ko wo, ke wo real numbers mein ke sequences ho wo sequences of functions bhi ho sakte hain jo ke aap advanced courses of mathematics mein discuss karenge so cauchy convergence criteria for real number sequences aur isko formal proof main karunga ke cauchy convergence criteria ye hai kya वो अभी हम देखते हैं कि थ्योरम में स्टेट किस तरह हो रहा है। A sequence of real numbers x n, let's say s n or x n, converges if and only if that sequence is Cauchy sequence. और अब Cauchy sequence जो है ये हमने डिफाइन किया हुआ है। Cauchy sequence means for every epsilon greater than zero, there exists a natural number n such that m or small n greater than that number n हो तो सीक्वेंस की टर्म्स का जो डिफरेंस है that is less than epsilon. The absolute value of the difference of Sn minus Sm is less than epsilon. Informally, I have told you that the sequence ki terms ko hum jitna marzi chahe narrow down kar sakte hain unka difference ko. Theek hai? So, sequence terms are getting closer and closer to each other as we approach towards infinity. Ye is ka graphical meaning hai Cauchy sequence ka. So, let's prove this statement which is the Cauchy sequence or is statement mein hum jo limit inferior or limit superior jo hai kyunki both phase statement hai if and only if statement hai so pehle main ye sabit karunga ki if a sequence is convergent then it is Cauchy sequence then main iska converse lunga agar koi sequence of real number Cauchy sequence hai i will show that that sequence is convergent to both way main isko prove karunga Let's see the proof of that statement. Suppose that limit n approaches to infinity s n equals s. It means that I am considering the sequence s n is convergent. Ye convergent sequence hai. Ab mene show kya karna this sequence is Cauchy sequence. Target kya hai ki s n minus s m less than epsilon whenever m and n are greater than or equals to n. Cauchy sequence mein isko sabit karna hai. Let's see how I did this one. Sequence convergent hai. By definition of the convergence, there exists an integer capital N such that for all r greater than or equal to capital N, s r minus s less than equals to epsilon by 2. Ye convergent ki definition se mein likha hai. Now I consider s n minus s m. Main is mein add or subtract kar deta hon, minus s or s. These are the numbers. Jis ko mera sequence converge kar raha. Then by properties of the absolute value that is less than or equal to s n minus s and s n minus m. Ab aap ko pata hai, ye likh hon, ya s m minus s mod likh hon, it's the same thing. Lekin ye sequence mera jo hai convergent hai whenever n approaches to infinity or m approaches to infinity. It's the same thing. So both of these could be less than epsilon by 2 plus epsilon by 2 by using the convergence of the sequence jo ke ye definition hai, which is sum up to the epsilon. So whenever this is true, whenever n and m are greater than or equal to n, kyunke isko mene apply kiya n or m ke liye. So, I have started with a convergent sequence and by using some mathematical trick, I end up with the this inequality, which is s n minus s m less than epsilon whenever n and m are greater than or equals to n, which is exactly the same where I have to reach. It means I have shown that the convergent sequence is Cauchy sequence. Let's do the other way around. Suppose that the sequence is Cauchy sequence or is then I have to show that the sequence S n is convergent. Ab isko karne se pehle recall karein sequence 
कॉशी सीक्वेंस जो है वो बाउंडेड सीक्वेंस होता है ये हमने साबित किया था अब अगर बाउंडेड सीक्वेंस ऑफ रियल नंबर है इट मीन इसके लिमिट सुपीरियर और लिमिट इंफीरियर आर फाइनाइट नंबर ये फाइनाइट नंबर होंगे नाउ सपोज दैट फॉर एप्सिलॉन ग्रेटर देन जीरो एंड एन सेटिस्फाइड दिस वन विच इज द डेफिनेशन ऑफ द कॉशी सीक्वेंस लिमिट सुपीरियर और लिमिट इंफीरियर की डेफिनेशन से एस एन माइनस एस एम लेस देन एप्सिलॉन एंड एस एम माइनस लिमिट इंफीरियर लेस देन एप्सिलॉन ये होगा सिमिलरली फॉर सम इंटीजियर एम एंड एन विच इज ग्रेटर देन एन वी मस्ट हैव लिमिट सुपीरियर एंड लिमिट इंफीरियर का डिफरेंस जो है इसको हम कंसिडर करते हैं अब एस एन और एस एम जो है वो मैंने एड और सब्टेक्ट किया इसका मतलब है माइनस एस एन प्लस एस एन प्लस एस एम माइनस एस एन इस टर्म में मैंने ये सब एड किया एप्सलूट की और सीक्वेंस की टर्म्स जो है उनको इकट्ठा किया एस बार माइनस एस एन प्लस एस एन माइनस एस एम इन सब को आप सम आप करें यू विल एंड अप विद एस अपर बार माइनस एस लोअर बार लिमिट सुपीरियर एंड लिमिट इंफीरियर अब एब्सोलूट वैल्यू की प्रॉपर्टी यूज करके दिस इज लेस देन और इक्वल्स टू ऑल दीज थिंग्स एंड ऑल दीज थिंग्स आर लेस देन एप्सिलोन इट मीन दिस इज लेस देन थ्री टाइम्स ऑफ द एप्सिलोन जो कि यहां पर लिखा हुआ वट इज इट मीन इट मीन्स लिमिट सुपीरियर इक्वल्स लिमिट इंफीरियर लिमिट सुपीरियर और लिमिट इंफीरियर अगर इक्वल हो क्योंकि ये इनक्वालिटी जो है दिस इज ट्रू फॉर ऑल एप्सिलॉन फॉर ऑल एप्सिलॉन ग्रेटर देन जीरो सिंस एप्सिलॉन इज एन आर्बिट्री पॉजिटिव नंबर विच आई हैव ऑलरेडी एक्सप्लेन फॉर ऑल एप्सिलॉन दिस इन इक्वालिटी इज ट्रू हैंस द लिमिट सुपीरियर एंड लिमिट इंफीरियर आर इक्वल सो द सीक्वेंस इज कन्वर्जेंट so what we have proved we have proved that if you have a cauchy sequence then the limit inferior and limit superior are equal which means the sequence is convergent we reached our destination humne both ways jo hai is theorem ko state bhi kiya aur proof bhi kiya what does it mean let me tell you once again a uh, a convergent sequence of real numbers is cauchy sequence and the converse a sequence of real numbers is cauchy sequence then it is convergent and it is only true for the sequences of the real numbers this is the statement which is true specifically for the sequences of real numbers jo maine aapko pehle bhi bataya tha ki mathematics mein sequences jo hai functions ke bhi sequences ho sakte hain this statement may not be true for the sequences of some other sequences which we discuss in mathematics